Ghana and Nigeria, yeah. is, that, is, this even, is, is this even a competition? Is Nigeria, that competition? come on, they are blessed. The words, the lyrics of the song, mm. you can sit and just... How the did bus. they get this? <laughs> Nigerians. They are good. They are ahead. It's good to recognize it so that you can learn from them. Yeah. Uh, they, are, they, are, they, are, they are ahead of us. Uh, but we are learning, we are catching up. Yeah. By God's grace, we are getting there. They inspire us. And, um, it's okay. Mm. It's good. It's good to learn from them. Uh, Nigeria is not just the West African. They are like, they are blessing the whole world. The whole world will change. Uh -huh. So it's good. They are doing something right and we have to learn from them. Thank you very much. Of course, I prefer Nigerian music to Ghanaian music. Sorry. But the voice, I mean, Messi Chingo, JDK, their words, the lyrics of the song. You can sit down and just. How did they get this? <laughs> and it's like, it's mind blowing. Mm -hmm. The Ghanaian music. And, and, and another day. Ghana and Nigeria. Yeah. Is that is this even is this even a competition? Is Nigeria, that competition? come on, they are blessed. And the benefit is that people don't know this. Ghana, we are just 30 million people. Mm -hmm. Nigeria is 150 million. Mm. And so, Charlie. Oh, uh, eh, eh, eh. oh, yeah. oh Lagos, Lagos, that's the point. I want to say Lagos is uh, Lagos alone. Oh, I like it. I like it. <laughs> I like it. Let's do it. Continue. I'll catch it. Hi. I don't have me. Who do you say BTS? So Lagos alone has 150 million people. Mm -hmm. Charlie, you have value. Look at compare the numbers. 20 million people. 30 million people. Even if 10 million of them are worshippers or good writers, 150 million people. Mm -hmm. Chances that. 15 million of them. Mm. It's very high. Do you get it? So the truth is that they have the numbers. Mm. And so but, but, but you, what about quality? So good. They have because they have the numbers. Who CV CV CV? Who be not quality? Mm, true. Ghana. Mm. We don't have the numbers. Who CV? Who be not Joe Messi? Who Ghana? Who you be a Nya Kamie? Uh, I'm crying. I'm crying. I'm crying. So it's not. It's not. I mean, it's not even an app for discussion because the truth is that they, they have the number benefits. So even if they have ball Accra. You will still get some quality inside. Ghana is small, so mm. we, we cannot really say it's a fair judgment, but because they have the numbers, Nigeria takes the win. God bless you. Okay. I like listening to both, but the one I prefer mostly is Nigerian music. Yes, because for, for the Ghanaian music, it's my mm. And then I think, yeah, they repeat most of the, they don't have any, any, any lyrics again? Mm. It's just one way, but for Gan uh, for Nigerian music, yes, they mostly change it, and then the beat. Um, I mean, the beat is not one way. Yeah. Well, when I think about music, the first thing that comes into my mind is Nigerian artists. Like, it will, I, I, I can't think of any Ghanaian artists at all. And I don't know, but then the vibe around Nigerian music is so great. Like, it's the spirit behind it. When you are singing Nigerian music, you are actually, you actually feel like you are singing. It doesn't mean when you are singing Nigerian music. You don't mean it. Short fire. Yeah, it's a comparison. So, I, I prefer Nigerian music. God bless all of you. Bye. Okay, I might say I prefer Nigerian music. Yeah. I mean, there are great Ghanaian artists out there. You might say you know, but I think just the Nigerian music, the musicians have just gotten into like a place where like they understand, but like they worship from such a deep place. And, and I think that the foreign vibe, like people like to like have this really stuff, like things that are different to them. So like the fact that like they speak in their language, the pigeon and all, it just so for us, I think it just gets you attracted to Nigerian music. Alright, thank you very much. Um, I don't know, dance no account like this, his instrumentals are sick, mm -hmm. yeah. But, should I say, okay, let me not compare, let me not mention any other artists. But then, the rest would be, dancing instrumentals are just over, over, like, mm -hmm. you understand, yeah, basically. Alright, thank you. Alright, alright, so Nigerian and Ghanaian music, uh, I think I'll prefer... I don't know, I like Nigerian music, Nigerian music. I think it's been Nigerian music. And there's this lady called Espanya Yoruba. Mm. Charlie. Mm. When they are, well, I don't understand what they are saying English, but when they are, you can connect easily. Mm. Tope Alabi. Yeah, Tope Alabi, yeah. Fire, fire woman. But, but I also like, I also like Ghanaian, mm. Ghanaian music. It's like the local, yeah, the wow. local tree, gun, away, away. So for me. But I'll prefer, I'll choose Nigerian. Nigeria. So I also prefer Nigerian music. Yeah. Mostly 
because yeah, they have beats. They incorporate this kind of this new kind of music, and piano. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like so this kind of thing. I, I like it very much because of the dancing and all that. And mostly the words, the lyrics. You know that, like mostly. They, I like how they personalize the whole uh, scriptures and use it as a song. Mm. It's especially about the love, kind. Yeah, and, you yeah, see yeah, when yeah. they are rapping, too, you know that when they are singing, you get to your back. Ghanaian is mostly one, it's like just one line. They can use that one line throughout the whole song. It's like, hey. And it's just a bit like they, they just use one way beat uh, like Belak like this. Yeah, you know that it's Belak, you know it's Belak because of the beat. <laughs>